Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, I am trimming my ends today. It's been a while since I've gotten a hair video up for you guys, so I thought I would get one up for you today. Um, we're going to start off by blow drying our hair. I just washed it. I'm using my Babyliss blow dryer. I will be sure to link this down below, so make sure you check the description box. And I'm also using a paddle brush. This is my favorite technique. It takes no time to get this done. My heat setting is on medium. Sometimes I like to switch it between high. So to get started, you'll need a rat tail comb, butterfly clips, and your cutting shears. Then I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair and we're parting from ear to ear, starting at the crown. And since I like to wear my hair parted down the middle, I'm going to use that part to guide me and make sure that everything is even. It's important to make sure your parts are relatively straight because uh, what you don't want to do is grab hair from the wrong section. So as you can see, um, as I'm parting, I'm making sure that it's pretty straight and I'm fixing any areas that hair needs to be moved from. Now that I've taken care of the front section, we're moving to the back section and I'm gonna do a little spin just so you can see what we're working with and what we should probably start cutting off or like the areas in which we may need to cut off. So I'm just gonna go and part this in half, starting it at the nape and I'm just keeping that top section where the crown is. I'm going to pin that up because we're gonna work on that part second. And I'm gonna get started right there at the nape. So I part it just a little bit above the nape. And now this is what it looks like. So we're getting rid of all that straggly hair right there. So now what you'll see me do is I'm just gonna give it a nice comb and I'm sliding my fingers down horizontally okay so your fingers should be straight do not bend it because you will change the structure of your cut so I'm just checking it seeing how much I need to cut off uh, seeing where the placement is going to be so now that we pretty much have an idea of what it's going to look like and what's going on you're going to go down for a final time slide your fingers down keep them straight and just keep moving your fingers up to adjust it without moving the actual hair. We're just sliding them up because that's the area we're now going to cut. And then you make your first cut. Very good. Now, really quick, you guys will see me do this a, quite a few times actually. What I'm doing right here is I'm just cross-checking what I'm doing. I'm cross-checking the cut, seeing if I need to cut any more. Um, I'm just checking the section before I move on to another section. And this is what you do not want to skip because you want to make sure that your cut is even all around. So make sure you pay attention to these parts because I'm showing you how to check your work basically. So now I'm turning around and I'm smoothing everything out. It looks pretty good for right now. Um, if I feel like I need to go and check anything later, um, cut any more later, I will do that. But for right now, everything looks good and I'm just touching up little sections as I go. So now we are moving to the crown section. This I was really strategic about when I was doing this cut. I'm measuring it against the first cut that we made. Now the reason I'm keeping this part separate is because I don't want to cut too much from this area. I want to make sure that I'm trimming all the uh, split ends but I don't want to do too much to where it doesn't match up with the bottom. So I'll cut this separate and then I'm going to overlay the bottom and the crown section as we're cross-checking. 
since this is a zero degree cut you want to make sure that when you're uh, doing your trims and you're evaluating your sections you should be pulling straight down there should hardly be any elevation there will be some elevation because of you know the fact that you're doing it yourself and you have some obstacles in the way like your body but this should be going straight down like you see me doing right here I went straight down with my fingers and I can see some see-through bits um, from the hair and that's the section that you want to cut it should be nice and dark when you're done doing your cut for that section if you made it this far in the video make sure you like this video and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe I really do appreciate all of my new subscribers and my current subscribers but I do appreciate the support so I hope that you are enjoying this video so far so you'll continue to cross check as you see me doing here I'm a little bit of a stickler so if I see something out of place I'm just gonna keep trying to correct it but once we're done with all of that we're just going to see what it's looking like look at the flow you see now it's nice and dark it's super flowy this looks really good so now we can move on to our front sections as you can see I'm really really proud and I'm so happy because trimming my ends they looked so bad but after today they're gonna be flawless okay so we're gonna have flawless hair and now we are taking that front section smoothing all the way down and now we can see the area that we need to make the cut okay so quite a bit I would say that's about like two inches worth of hair that we're gonna have to trim um, the front and top part of my hair is longer than the back now I'm bringing you guys in closer and we're making that front cut that was a really nice shot if I do say so myself <laughs> looked really really good but um, yeah so now we're getting the front section together girl we're just smoothing everything out combing it down making sure that everything looks good if it's not we're gonna continue to make adjustments as you can see here I'm continuing to trim off little pieces um, if I see any see-through parts in the hair those that's usually an indication that it needs to be trimmed off um, but yeah everything looks good on that side so now we're moving on to the next side and we're just taking that whole section I feel like the front part is usually the easiest we're moving hair from the back and we're putting it up to the front because that is actually our guide it's a cutting guide so we're using that back section as a reference point and I forgot to mention that when we were on the front part of the hair but now you know so we slide all the way down and that's where we're gonna make our cut and then we make the cut I love like honestly guys I was almost getting a little scissor happy I wanted to cut more hair off than this but I was like no let me not do that that's too much so I'm glad that I did do this trim here um, and then in a couple weeks I'll end up cutting off more but for right now I think this looks really good as always we continue to cross check our hair make sure everything looks good looks even if it doesn't we'll go in and adjust as we need to but it looks really flowy the hair is nice and dark in the front you can also do a little bit of face framing if that's what you choose to do um, I didn't do too much of that face framing in this video um, I actually had somewhere to be but I'm cross-checking the front part of the hair so I'm making sure that it's all the same length as you can see I'm tugging on certain sections of the hair and making sure that it's all even and if it's not I'm gonna go in and trim some more if that's what I need to do to adjust the cut but yeah, it's pretty straightforward, you guys. Um, if you have any questions about cutting hair, uh, cutting hair yourself, just questions in general that have to do with uh, trimming the hair or your hair care, please let me know in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.